So you might be in a situation where your PlayStation VR headset is just not loading anything. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first thing you're going to want to try out and do is to make sure that the connected port that you have at the very end of your specific headset is fully plugged in. Most of the time, if you're having some issues with your PSVR headset, most of the time it's because you didn't probably plug in your headset, you know, the right way the first time. So with these headsets, you know, with the new one, it's just pretty much just one wire. But if you're using the older one, there's multiple wires you have to connect. So what you're going to want to do is just make sure that all the wires and everything that you have connected to your specific port is actually perfectly fine. And as long as that's the case, then you should be okay. But like I said, if you're having issues within your headset and for some reason things aren't working or there's problems or whatever the case is, you can have lots and lots of issues and run into lots and lots of issues just from that situation alone. So... That is the main thing I'd recommend looking into. That in and of itself is probably the big thing I'd recommend thinking about. Now on top of that, if that's still not working, you wanna make sure your actual headset is charged up. So you can go ahead and just leave your headset plugged in and let it charge up for as long as you can. And from there, that can probably end up fixing the problem too. On top of that, if that's still not working, you may just wanna go ahead and see and make sure that within this wire connection at the very back, you wanna make sure nothing was pulled out and nothing was like damaged right here. Because this wire is so, you know, can be pulled out, it can be, you know, it doesn't pull out easily, but it can be removed, that can possibly cause some issues like that. So just make sure nothing is messed up there, because if there is, if there are some messed up things, well, that can probably end up causing some problems too. If that's still not working and your headset is still not turning on, you may just want to double check the wires, double check the connections, double check your PlayStation 5, because if it's still not working out then, then that can probably cause some issues there too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.